In the last few years, the use of digital technologies in precision agriculture has changed how farmers care for crops and take care of their fields. You don't have to be an expert to see how technology has changed the idea of smart farming to make it more profitable, efficient, safe, and easy. In today's video, we'll talk about the top 10 new technologies for agriculture. But before we start our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Number 1. Robotics People who think of farming as a peaceful life in the country might not know that the new generation of farm workers doesn't want to pick fruit, pick up animals, or do many of the other back-breaking tasks that are common in farming. In processing plants, robots now milk cows, pick strawberries, and cut up dead animals. The global market for robots used in farming is worth more than $5 billion, and it is expected to double in the next five years. Number 2. The Internet of Things and Sensors Being able to track produce and live animals, find health problems, and evaluate the environment inside the farm or the uptake of water from the soil in real time is a huge help in solving the biggest problems in the food supply chain, such as climate change and sustainability, animal welfare, and tracking. The growth of Internet of Things devices in other industries might not be as big of a deal as the opportunities in agriculture, which is already a market worth $11.4 billion. Number 3. Artificial Intelligence Many jobs in the food and farming industries depend on learning by doing instead of being told what to do. This causes a lot of problems, like how to avoid mistakes, misunderstandings, and cognitive bias. AI could be the death knell for extension agents, farming experts, consultants, and other experts, but it's more likely that it will just change how these jobs work. It will take less time to get more accurate data, but it will still need to be interpreted. Think about how AI has changed the healthcare industry as an example. Some jobs have been changed, but none have been lost. Number 4. Satellite-Derived Data With satellite data in service, it has never been so easy to predict crop yields and keep an eye on fields in almost real time to look for a wide range of threats. The sensors can take pictures in different colors, which makes it possible to use many spectral indices, like the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. NDVV, I can find out how much vegetation is there, how many plants are dying, and how healthy the plants are overall. The Canopy Chlorophyll Content Index which helps with applying nutrients, comes next. The normalized difference red edge then looks for nitrogen. Finally, the modified soil adjusted vegetation index is made to reduce the effect of the soil background on plants at their earliest stages of growth. Number 5. Data from the Sky – Drones With the help of drones, farmers can get a very accurate picture of crop biomass plant height, the presence of weeds, and the amount of water in certain parts of a field. Compared to satellites, they send back better and more accurate data with a higher resolution. When they are run by people in the area, they can give more useful information faster than scouts. People also think that drones are the best way to fight insects. By spraying insecticide on the risky areas with drones, invasions can be stopped, and people are less likely to get chemical poisoning from direct exposure. Even though drones are easy to use and can collect a lot of information in a short amount of time, there are still problems with using them all the time because they are expensive. Drones are almost useless when it comes to mapping or keeping an eye on large areas. It is better to use satellite monitoring in areas that have already been mapped and where specific zones need to be checked. Number 6. GIS-Based Harvesting since fields are based on their location, GEIS software is a very useful tool for precision farming. Farmers can map changes in rain, temperature, crop yields, plant health, and so on, both now and in the future, by using GIS software. It also lets farmers use GPS-based apps and smart machinery to apply fertilizer and pesticides in the best way possible. Since they don't have to treat the whole field, but only certain areas, they can save money, effort, and time. The use of satellites and drones to get a bird's eye view of vegetation, soil conditions, weather, and terrain is another great thing about agriculture based on GIS. Having this kind of information makes decisions much more accurate. Number 7. Virtual Reality 
the ability of VR to teach students about the inner workings of animals and how plants grow, or just to let them visit farms, is a great way for students and consumers to get involved with farming. VR has been used successfully with cows at Glasgow University, in the Australian poultry industry, by pig farmers in North Carolina, and even by UK McDonald's customers. Number 8. Blockchain This technology is both the most exciting and the most misunderstood. It uses the same technology as Bitcoin and can bring transparency to a sector that hasn't always been able to gain consumer trust. The food industry can get back on top with the help of blockchain technology. For example, Canadian companies in the beer supply chain, Walmart's global food chain, and the FDA all see blockchain to address consumer concerns about where food comes from and how safe it is. Number 9. Data Analytics By 2025, the world will have stored 175 quadrillion bytes of data. People often say that data is the new oil which is funny because many countries that have a lot of oil haven't become rich because of it. The high valuations of ag tech startups are thought to be justified by their ability to capture, control, and process data in the future. It's a pipe dream to think that data will save farming, but the power of data analytics can give farmers and food producers important new insights. Number 10. Cloud Connectivity Cloud-based computing services use real-time connections to the internet to offer more flexible resources and economies of scale than traditional server-based or even edge options. When many farms aren't even connected yet, the need for connectivity, especially 5G, is a real challenge. Governments know that improving connectivity is important if they want to change the way farming is done. Without it, the gap between rural and urban areas will get even bigger. If agriculture doesn't get digitalized, the results will be very bad. Without digital disruption, the world can't realistically face a changed food chain that gives people what they say they want. Food that is good for the environment and people's well-being is plentiful and is cheap. The farms in the stories we read as kids didn't show all the problems of farm life, like how hard it is to work and how little you can control or understand about things like animal health and weather. Through technological change, people in the farming and food industries may be able to have their cake, bread, meat, and milk, and eat them too. So that's it for today. If you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon for latest updates. Thanks for watching.